Hello everyone, you are most welcome again on my channel and in this video we are talking about Aristotle's tragic plot structure. So as you can see here we have first beginning and one middle and an end. And Aristotle says that if we are looking for complete tragedy we must have beginning, a middle and an end. It starts with an inciting incident as you can see here first. So beginning starts with, beginning happens when inciting incident happens. Later in the course of time we see that there are some actions unfolding chain of events. So there are chains of events. Later we will come to the middle part or you can say the, uh, the height of tragedy. From there, what happens? Plot of reversal happens and change of fortune is seen. And this is also called recognition in uh, tragic language or in tragic, uh, we can say, uh, it is a term which denotes the plot reversal and change of fortune and it is also called recognition. Later, in tragedy, one important thing happens and that is pity and fear. We sense pity and we sense fear. Now because of this sense and pity we feel horrified sometime and now it is duty of the writer or dramatist uh, or the tragic writer that he will uh, he will bring some soothing effect in the tragedy and then comes catharsis means we need to be free from that fear and tragedy and we must not go home with that pity and fear so there must be catharsis in order to be free from that pity and fear action towards plot denouma so denouma is also uh, we can say the ending part and uh, so the last part it ends with denouma all right so there are three parts in short, beginning, middle and an end and then we can say the, the topmost part in Aristotle tragic plot structure is plot reversal or recognition. Hopefully this presentation helped you to understand Aristotle's tragic plot structure. If it helps you, please do subscribe and share the video with others. Thank you. Bye bye. Take care. See you in next video.